Hi, this is Carolyn Wilhelm from the Wise Owl Factory, and today we're going to make a form. On the top of your Gmail page is a black bar, and it has your Google Drive. You can get to Blogger this way, you can get to your calendar, all kinds of things, and you want to be on Drive. And on the left, there's a red button that says Create, and we're going to make a form. So we're going to choose a theme. For instance, if it's a birthday party, or a picnic, or um, whatever we want. You can pick here, maybe you want all your friends to sign up for your Christmas list, or a wedding, or whatever you want. So I'm going to pick bluebirds, and I'm going to say um, picnic in July, or whatever. So it can be a group of bloggers, it can be anything. So. Um, so will you attend, what will you bring to the picnic? The first thing that you want is the name. And this would be a text answer. And it's a required question and done. We're going to add an item. We'll say um, food you will bring. Or, or this might be what is your email, or anything like that. Help text, um, beverages will be provided, or whatever you want to say. Make it a required question, and done. Then we'll add um, how many in your family will be attending, or whatever. And the, the answer here, you can make multiple choice check boxes, choose from a list. You can do different things, but the only thing that really makes sense here is a text answer. And so um, we're going to allow editor allow responders to edit after submitting and publish and show a link. So this is my share link here. So that's what I would email everybody. Control click to copy. And we can add names here. I can invite my friend Charlene. I can inv invite um, uh, my friend Ann or whoever I want. And then um, if I need other people to edit the form, maybe there's a mom at home in the day or somebody at home or whatever you can do that so right here only the people listed below can change and I think anybody with the link is the best one anyone can edit um, and save and I copy that form number and then when I paste it I get um, this the live form will look like that though when they get the link, I guess. But what I do is I go up to the top of the live form and I copy paste that link and that's what I give people because I don't necessarily want them to see that or, um, you know, the Google Doc. Okay, thank you very much for listening.